easy way to make the circle um, will be to print out the template and then cut about five layers of freezer paper that fit this circle and we're going to iron them together. I have cut um, just with my scissors four layers of freezer paper. There is a matte side and a shiny side so I'm going to um, iron shiny to matte, shiny to matte until I have one thick foundation paper piece my template and I'm going to put it face down and then I'm going to get the shiny part and I'm just going to put it over the paper and then I'm going to put another one over that and the, so basically what I'm doing is I am creating a thick template that I can cut and work with to make a perfect circle. I have all of these stuck together. My paper is really nice and thick. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cut um, as close as I can to this line because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get fabric and I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch around this. So um, first let's cut the fabric using this template, the larger template. So now I have cut my foundation, uh, my uh, freezer paper template, and I'm going to cut the fabric first using this template. Now, because I'm going to use white fabric over a sunset landscape, so there's going to be colored fabric under here, I want to um, create as much as possible um, something so you can't see through it. So I'm going to actually add stabilizer underneath the fabric before I cut it so that it's sort of double thick um, and it'll also make making the circle easier. So I will, this is the fabric I'm going to use for the sun. So, I mean, you can use any fabric you want, but I think white really um, will give the impact that we need. So yeah, that's perfect. So I'm going to, so stabilizer is basically fabric with these little blue dots and um, it makes the fabric much more stable, a little firmer. So I'm gonna put it on here and just kind of flatten it out and then I'm gonna iron it on there. And then you see already, whoops, you see already that the piece kind of sticks on there. Now I have the stabilizer. And because this is quite white and I really wanna make sure that the underlying color fabric you can't see, I'm gonna actually add two layers of stabilizer. So, I mean, you could just add a couple layers of just the white or, um, you know, any method that you prefer, but I'm going to try this. So this is gonna give me a couple of layers that are together, nice and firm. So now I'm going to cut using my template around this large section. My paper template, and I'm gonna put the sticky side and I'm gonna iron it onto here and I'm gonna closely as much as possible cut along the circle. So I am gluing essentially with the freezer paper, the, the freezer paper template onto the stabilizer, the back of the stabilizer that's on top of my fabric. So now I'm going to cut along this entire edge. Once I do that, then I'm gonna cut the template again um, for the next step. Okay, so I have just cut the freezer pepper template and so I'm going to peel off my fabric from that. So how cool is that? So I'm gonna take my template and peel off my fabric. One hand here, trying to do this. Okay, and what's really cool about this is that you can reuse this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this template back on here and I'm gonna cut along the sew line. So I'm gonna cut this template to that section. Okay, so what I actually did was I peeled the stabilizer from the fabric and first cut it down because 
I don't want the stabilizer to be a part of the seam. So basically, now I have this perfect circle and I'm going to take a piece of thread and I'm going to baste it all around here. And then I'm gonna show you a little magic. So basically, I'm going to sew this little base stitch right, let's see if I can focus this, right on the edge of where the um, template ends. So I'm going to do that all around this piece. Okay, so now that I have basted all along the edge, I don't have a way to do this with <laughs> two hands. You basically are going to pull and then all these cute little edges are going to come up just like that. And then I'm going to take some starch and I'm going to iron it over to create a perfect circle around the template. Once I have starched it, then I'll take the template out. So you can see, I'm just kind of holding it down. When I pull the thread, all of the seam allowance wraps around the template. So then I'm going to do the starch and I'm going to iron it. Okay, so this is the great thing about uh, freezer paper templates that can get wet, ironed on, and then you don't have to worry about them. You just kind of toss them after you're done. So I am taking just the corner of my handy dandy Oliso iron, and I've starched these corners, and you can see they, I don't know if you can see, but they are going to look perfectly round when I turn this around. And then I'm going to take out the template so pam i have a perfect circle <laughs> so that's going to be the sunset um it's uh, going to be the only part that's appliqued in the whole uh piece mostly because i mean i could have worked the drafting around the sun but i really wanted the whole sunset to be intact and this is the best uh execution of that so just one foundation uh, one uh, applique piece uh, will be uh, stitched on to uh, the sunset halfway through the pattern. So once the corners have been ironed out uh, over, then I'm going to take out the freezer paper template. And you can see it's sort of like cardboard, but what's really great about it is that you can temporarily adhere it to something without it being permanent. So you take this out and then I'm gonna give it one last iron. Okay, so here's my uh, circle. It's perfectly round. Um, it has a little bit of stabilizer to give it a little more stability, but also so that you won't be able to see through it with the color. And um, I'm going to give it one more last nice little iron and then put my little Taylor's, Taylor's clapper over it and it's ready to be my son. So I have pieced together the top part of the um, sorbet sunset. And so basically there's a seam that goes from here to here next. So I'm going to uh, sew on my sunset basically before I put on the next seam and that is it. And so once that seam has been sewed on, you're going to trim off a quarter of an inch away from the uh, seam line and keep going so that it looks like this.